Well, this is perhaps the strongest team that the Israeli champions have ever assembled. How serious are they tonight? Well, when their opponents played their last league match here, four Israeli coaches and scouts took their places in the crowd to report back in readiness for this important match. And now, let's really raise the roof for our own English champions, our own Team Polisel Kingston. Polisel Kingston have the advantage of a home court and a home crowd, but will that be enough? I wonder. Two of Europe's most prolific shooters oppose each other tonight. On the left, Steve Bontrager and Mickey Berkowitz. Oh, and Bontrager so quick to get to the corner to take the ball in. Look at that. Berkowitz off. Oh. oh, Mickey Berkowitz collects two points. Dan Davis and Lee Johnson, two big Americans on opposite sides. Control of the backboards essential. Davis has power, Johnson has power, finesse and speed. Davis is in. Yes. Well, the new Maccabi faces, got on Yamshi, number 12, 6 feet 5, guard forward, Corky Nelson, number 8, at 6 feet 11, and relatively new to the team, number 13, Kevin McGee, from Irvine University, USA. Apollos L. Kingston, Colin McNish, wears number 12, he has an important role, he re represents extra strength inside and must support Davis. Andy Enel, number 10, must take some of the pressure off Bontrager too. But overall, the team lacks depth in direct contrast to Maccabi. And one of the reasons for this, Martin Clark sits out, adjudged a professional by the international governing body. A status he contests. And we understand he's taking legal action against both the international governing body and the English Basketball Association. Even without Clark, Kingston settled down well. We join it in the first half, it's 33 all. Kingston in blue, playing from right to left. And Bill Bezik, the England national team coach, has joined Stuart Story. Oh yes, Jamshi again. Jamshi, the number 12, takes uh, Maccabi ahead and just signalled his own two points to the table. And there's the score, there's the time rather go to the end of this first half. Another check out. That's the third uh, such uh, block on the ball in its upward flight. Oh, well played. Uh, unselfish play by Bontrager. Davis played it beautifully, made the space, moved in and executed. Johnson fronted by two players, one of them is McNish, attempting to not deny him possession and that would work too. Montega looking for the long shot and getting it, three points. What a good shot. That's what this crowd came to see. 38 to Kingston, 35 to Maccabi. And a foul against McNish. McNish pushing uh, Yamshi off the end of the court, and that's three fouls. And that does give a little bit of a problem. McNish must now stay clean. Timeout called. And it's to Kingston and Malcolm Chamberlain. Come on, whoever's in there, work, man. Danny, come on. Take a breather. Hey, we're going to go to point. Going to point D. Going to point D. Colin, you have the middle. Dougie, you have the base. Richie and Andy, you have the two and three spots. 
you've got the one spot. Remember, three point, three point rule, you've got to have a foot in the three point area. Make sure the four man Dougie read the corners, all right? Now, come on, hard work for a couple of minutes, and don't sit back. Five men moving at the same time when the ball leaves the hand. Now, let's just do it for a second or two, and then let's go, get ready to go back in a man. Give him a breather, hey, and we'll come back. Hey, this time down, corner for Doug. Corner for Doug. Come on, come man, on. knock it down. Hands in, let's go out. Knock it down. Come on. Come on. Malcolm Tramblin trying to solve his problems of foul trouble and uh, fatigue by switching to a zone defense, but that zone defense must get out to the three-point line to stop those long shots. Jamshid with two shots. First one's good. Just to remind you, one point from the free shot. 15 points to Jamshi. And so still one point uh, down, the Israeli champions. In arrears, behind the English champions from last season. Rudd, Lloyd. Oh, McNish is in. McNish fouled by McGee, yes he was, or was he? It's against Yamshi. That's two points scored, one bonus shot, and a foul against number 12, Yamshi. Two minutes and 18 seconds left, 40 to Kingston, 37 to Maccabi, and a shot to go, and this is good for Kingston. McNish has played well. McGee has come off, and uh, Corky Nelson, the big number eight at six feet eleven, has gone on in his place as McNeish prepares. There he is. Arresti. Just over two minutes to the end of this first half. Oresti slowing it just for the moment, getting the organisation. Now, well, that's what makes the man dangerous. That's what uh, Malcolm Chamberlain has been uh, talking about, preventing this man from shooting. And uh, there's still one point behind. 17 points, though, to Yanchi. But it's what it's done to the overall total that matters. Yamshi checked out by Bontrag. Oh, what a good play. He had a second chance by virtue of the Berkovic pass, but... My goodness, what good play by Bontrag. Maccabi go one point up. Close to the half-time. Oh, and Rudd has it. He was fouled surely by uh, the number eight, Corky Nelson. Yes. It's given. Rudd foul. Will it be out of bounds? Or will it be? It'll be shots, won't it? Because uh, the 17 fouls. Rudd. Two shots it is. Niche. On the bench. Davis desperately avoiding the contact. Now that's Davis' third foul. And if only he can stay on that, because uh, without him, the game would uh, be diminished. Jamsi takes his shots, both Davis and McNeish uh, on three fouls, and that really does hurt uh, Malcolm Chamberlain. Forty-three, forty-one, just two points, the margin. The referee's timeout uh, being called here, and I'm not sure what the situation is. He was just checking the 
the foul situation with the table, that is to say, the manager of the Maccabi side. All is settled, and Kingston with possession. A shot, a successful shot now, much required, and that was an error. Jamshi again, right over the outstretched hand of Davis. And uh, this is an important phase because the margin's gone to four points in Maccabi's favour. And this is what they wanted to go into the half, just four to six points up. Gives them that little extra buffer at the start of the second half. Oh, poor shot, one has to say that, from Lloyd. Oh, now look at the margin. The margin now six points. 47 to 41 at the half. The Maccabi Tel Aviv have the buffer they want. And Kingston in foul trouble, really. Two players on three fouls. The great depth of this Maccabi side will show its great strength in the second half, I'm sure. And uh, this local crowd... We we'll want to see plenty of action in this second half from the home side. There is a danger of Dan Davis and Colin McNeish on uh, three fouls. And that, uh, of course, could prove difficult in the defensive area, certainly. Two points. And Yamshi makes the start that most teams enjoy. First basket, 50 to 41 then. And Dontrager takes it on himself. To man to man, it's a combination zone actually. A slipping from man to man to zone. And Davis had to let his man go there. You saw him ease back and let McGee put the ball in. And that's a foul, it's against, uh, is it Johnson? Yes, it is. A big smile. It's two fouls on him. Johnson, former professional with the Detroit Pistons. Lots of experience in Europe. McNeish, Montrego. Davis for providing the screen. McNeish. Oh, he put the ball on the floor and arrested took it. And the foul against uh, Lloyd in the number nine vest of Kingston. It's his second foul, Doug Lloyd. And it gives uh, Kevin McGee an opportunity to take some free shots. McGee, former student at Irvine University, Irvine University. There's plenty of uh, Israeli support in this crowd, I must say. Now, ten points the margin. Bontrager. The rest has done a good job on Bontrager. Davis impeded on his way through. Johnson dropping back to help McGee with Davis. But on that occasion, oh, surely a foul, not given. Berkovic. Very, very, very tough game, this. Charging foul against Montrega. The points count. This is a great drive by Steve Bontrager. He protects the ball all the way out from the big man and draws the foul. Well, Bontrager has 25 points to his credit, uh, but two fouls. McGee fading away, popping the ball in. 15 points to him. Inel, defended by Berkowitz. 
Grealish uh, getting a foot to that one. Rather one of the Israeli players. Is the possession now with uh, Kingston? Johnson arrested. Oh, well, Kevin McGee found a lot of space when he perhaps didn't expect it. 57 to 45 now, the Israeli champions lead, and 17 minutes and 33 seconds left in this first leg, first round match. That's a bad phase for Kingston, the fast break of Maccabi is on, and when you have an executioner on the end like Berkovic, then you're in desperate trouble. The margin now, what, 14 points. Seven baskets, assuming that they're scored from within the arc, so it's still not a big margin, Oh, a deliberate foul, surely. Arrested the man. This is a professional move by Arresti, preventing the two points, forcing Davis to make them from the line. And Kingston uh, taking a timeout. That was expected. Now, can they get the rhythm back? If you get, if you lose the ball, any end ball, that's where we should be, down there. And you don't look at me at the bench, you just get back Come down on, there. No reaching at half court. Remember what we said. If you get beaten, the ball goes over your head, you get back down there. Hey, they've just gone up 14 points because you're not getting back. And also in there, if you're going to put the ball on the floor, hey, you're going to have everybody in there. Don't look for help off anybody. You just go take it straight to the damn hole and go hard. Hey, guys, you're going to go 23, you've got to be active, all right, because we're stationary out there on the it's as simple as that, says Malcolm Chamberlain. If you don't get back on defence, Maccabee will make layups and the lead will increase. Really what Kingston have to do is to get Von Traeger into some form of scoring position. They've got to provide the screening movements for him. And I just saw Dan Davis go up from the free throw and have a word with Von Traeger. These two know each other so well. And that's the reason why the foul was committed by Arresti to force the man to take, as Bill was saying, take those three shots from the line, and he's missed the first one. That will count. Arresti. Yamshi. Berkovitz. McGee tight inside, two men on him. Well, two McNeese and Lloyd got in each other's way there. They're playing his own defence now, and that's a change. They're trying to prevent the penetration underneath the basket and creating the outside shots, but uh, having said that, they've been shooting well from outside, McCarvey. Oh... Yamshi. And Kingston are in trouble. 61 to 46 now, this margin. In off. McNish. In all in. He played well. Rolled it off the backboard. Two very welcome points indeed for Andy and Al. 61 48. And some pressure coming now. Arresti pressured by now. Davis. Push the ball out uh, for the Maccabi possession. Well, from a zone defence, uh, the rebound potential must surely be there. But Arresti, much shorter player, was able to beat it. And so was Johnson. So the fatigue factors crept in to the uh, Kingston side. They don't have too much depth on the bench. Oh, and a misunderstanding there between Davis and Inel. Maccabee must have won every loose ball in this game so far, and that's most unusual for the away team. 
Well played, McNeish. That will instill a little bit more confidence. Oh. Well, that... The possession... He says, is it ours? The referee says, yes, it is. And I think he was lucky to get it. And the restie is just having a word with the referee and suggesting that perhaps it should have been in his favour. But to no avail. So, substitutions. Inall has gone off. Rudd is on for Kingston. And Berkovic has left. And Corky Nelson, at 6 feet 11, has taken his place. So there's a substitute of height. And the experienced Berkovic gets a well-earned rest. That was welcome. 15 minutes left then. And the margin now, 13 points. Pressure in the defence now. Man-to-man -man again. Oh. oh, once Johnson gets in, he's very difficult to stop. And, of course, with two big players on three fouls from Kingston, this is what happens. Marvellous backdoor pass from Oresti and a nice little fake and dunk shot. So Maccabi 15 ahead and there was really no way back for Kingston then. Maccabi lead by 17 as we approach the final hooter. 15 seconds, Bontrager tries the three-pointer. Strikeman to Lassoff to Arresti. And the fast break that's so often gone into play. There it is. 112 to 93. Maccabi Tel Aviv, twice winners of this cup, have gone through with such an enormous margin. And remember, Kingston still have to go to Tel Aviv for the second leg. That's next Thursday, the 10th of October. So, no surprise at Kingston, but in tonight's European soccer, well, I think a couple of surprises for John Motton. Yes, it's little.